Did you know that pork is the most widely eaten meat in the world? An average Australian eats about 25 kilograms of pork per year. And globally, 40% of meat eaten is pork. Yes, pig production is kind of a big deal. However, to produce enough pigs is not easy. Hot weather conditions in summer can drastically reduce the number of pigs born in litter. Unfortunately, mother pig almost always gets the blame when she may be completely innocent. This results in expensive and untimely culling of these so-called undesirable females from the herd. Poor mommy pig. <laughs> My PhD thesis aims to prove that it is not just all about females, and heat stress boars could be one of the main reasons why only few baby pigs are born during summer. Normally, sperm quality is based on shape, numbers, and how fast sperm can swim. But could there be more to sperm than just looks? Interestingly, a healthy-looking, well-shaped sperm may appear normal under the microscope and thus pass the quality check. But research have shown that heat stress can damage sperm DNA. In other words, sperm may look good on the outside, but damaged inside. So I went to investigate and monitor the sperm quality of boars in our pig shed through different seasons of the dry tropics of Townsville, North Queensland. I collected semen during summer, winter, and spring. I used a computer to precisely measure how well the sperm swim, but also stain the sperm with a dye and put them in a machine that counts between good and bad DNA damaged sperm. Astonishing! All sperm swam equally well, but summer had 14% or seven times more DNA damaged sperm than winter and spring. What's more, research also showed that Embryos fertilized with DNA damaged sperm don't develop properly. Therefore, what I think I found in boars during summer is zombie sperm that is alive but could be dead inside. Now, you might reconsider why cold weather is good for lovers. That was just the beginning. I have frozen a portion of the sperm samples in liquid nitrogen and will use it later to fertilize pig eggs in the lab. I expect that many embryos will not survive with summer sperm. This will give us groundbreaking evidence that heat stress in boars contributes to pregnancy loss in the sun. Ultimately, I aim to develop an antioxidant therapy, which I hope could improve fertility of boars during summer, thus save the sows and produce more pigs consistently. You can then rest safe in the knowledge that your sausages, chops, and roast will be here as much as you love it. Thank you. <laughs>